There's mounting evidence that the Perth property market has peaked and investors considering jumping into that market need to carefully consider their actions. Throughout 2024, we have warned that too many investors were buying recklessly in the Perth market, grabbing anything available regardless of quality or location, and usually paying well above the asking price. And worse, many investors have been buying without the usual due diligence in their efforts to beat the competition. And we have warned that buying in this matter in a market that has already had three years of major price growth is fraught with danger. Now, in the past week or so, several different sets of data have been published which support the view that the Perth market has reached or passed its peak in this cycle. So the various piece, pieces of evidence include these. Number one, the rate of price growth has started to wane. It's still high in annual terms, but the rate of growth in the latest month and the latest quarter has decreased compared to earlier in the year. The PropTrack Home Price Index found that Perth Village grew by just 0.3%, in October, while CoreLogic also recorded a significant drop in the rate of growth. Number two, for the first time in years, the number of listings of properties for sale in Perth has grown. Figures published by SQM Research show that total property listings in Perth grew 10% in October, while new listings of homes for sale rose 14%. That's the biggest increase amongst the capital cities except Hobart, and it's the highest level of new listings in Perth since early 2021. Number three, rents are no longer growing in Perth. According to the Real Estate Institute of Western Australia, Perth's rental market is now seeing rents stabilise and the tight vacancy rate is loosening. The Real Estate Institute said Perth's median rent for houses has held steady at $650 a week since March, while the median rent for units was $600 a week in March. It rose briefly to $620 before dropping back to $600. Eskom Research this week reported a 1% monthly decrease in the median weekly rent for Perth houses. With so many investors having bought in Perth in the past two to three years, the supply of rental properties is rising, although the vacancy rate is still below 1%. The number of rental listings currently is 13% higher than a year ago, according to the Real Estate Institute of Western Australia. Number four, the property sentiment report uh, based on a survey of real estate investors published by Australian Property Investor Magazine has found that Perth and Western Australia have slipped, slipped down the priority list for intending buyers. In last year's survey, WA ranked number two in terms of where investors thought it was best to buy, but in the new 2024 survey found it ranked fourth behind Queensland, New South Wales and Victoria, with only 13% of survey respondents now favouring Western Australia. And number five, the anecdotal evidence suggests that the purse market has turned. Often the most valuable intel comes from people on the ground in the property industry, people at the coalface of a local market. This week I spoke to a buyer's agent who has been active in the Perth market for the past few years, during which the market was so strong that selling agents seldom returned his phone calls. Now he says the selling agents are calling him, desperately searching for buyers because they say the market has turned. Now putting all that together, there's a mounting body of evidence that the Perth market has peaked and investors need to proceed with even greater caution. The WA Capital has had a remarkable run and it still leads the nation on annual price growth, but after three big years, the Perth market is showing increasing signs of fading. The WA economy is ranked the strongest in the nation, so we'll continue to provide under, underlying demand for homes in Perth, but, and we don't expect any major decline in prices. But all the numbers support the view that the peak has passed in Perth.